Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. I'm continuing along with the uh, mixed panel implementation course. Uh, we've covered how to add mixed panel to the client side using Google Tag Manager, uh, track calls, as well as super properties. And as I've mentioned before, now we're going to cover aliasing, identifying users, and setting up people properties. Uh, but before we actually hop into the implementation of how to do so, uh, I'd like to explain what those things are so you know uh, why we use them, what their purpose is, and then when I actually implement them, you'll be able to have a better grasp on why we're setting things up the way that we are. Um, so the big thing that has changed from just setting up uh, tracking of events is now we want to be able to associate those events with the people who are doing them. So what ends up happening is up until now, uh, we've only had... A, the distinct ID set to um, some random string that the client side is setting. So in here, you'll see this uh, long string of numbers here. That is some randomly generated uh, mixed panel distinct ID that all these events are being associated with. You can actually see it in the client side if I do uh, set up a variable, use mixed panel .get distinct ID, and then I just type in MP you'll realize it's spitting out that exact same number. So this will become really important when we're doing a hybrid of client and server side tracking because this is how we associate uh, and keep uh, the identity resolution correct is leveraging uh, this uh, distinct ID in an alias call from the server side. But for now, the most important thing to note is uh, up until someone gives us their contact information and we call identify, all of their events are being associated with this distinct ID. So if we were to just uh, call mixpanel.identify right here, uh, we wouldn't be able to associate all of the events that were done anonymously with this distinct ID with the new ID, which could either be um, your application's generated uh, ID number for a distinct user, or in this case, we're using email address. So the main purpose of mixpanel.alias is say someone comes in and they submit a lead form or they register for your platform. You now go from not knowing who they are to knowing exactly who they are. That's what uh, Mixed Panel Identify does, which I'll explain in the next one, is it uh, gives them an identity uh, for future tracking. But what alias allows us to do is we call mixpanel.alias and then uh, their new ID, and it takes all the events that are associated with this distinct ID and now associates it with that new ID. And then we'll go ahead and call Identify, which then just says, identify all future events with the new ID that we've issued. So in my case, um, it will take this distinct ID and all of these events that I've done underneath it and associate it with my ID, which will be daniel.lambert at plushrepublic.com. And then when I call mixpanel.identify, uh, which I'll go over in the next video in a little bit more in depth, it will um, then take all of the future events and continue to associate them with my new ID. Um, so essentially just in summary, Alias allows you to not lose the events that are happening when they're still an anonymous user. It will allow you to take those events and associate them with the distinct ID that you set, either using their email address or an ID uh, from your own application. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually bypass the identify video because I think we did a good enough job of explaining it here. It's just associating your new user ID with the events so that in the future you can track them. Um, and then in the next video, I will just go over uh, setting up people properties uh, and individual people profiles in Mixpanel, and then we can go ahead and get started with the actual um, implementation of this. So stay tuned. Hopefully this is helpful uh, and looking forward to getting oh, into setting this up. Mother.